Hey, my stamping friends. It's Marilyn here, Stamping Creations with Marilyn, coming to you again for our regular evening stamping together. Uh, this one is a little different. I am pre-recording it because we are away for the week, spending time with family. So hopefully you understand and don't worry too much about not being able to comment live and have me read it right now. I will come back and read everything after the fact, as always. And on that note as well, I will do the draw for last week's card probably tomorrow when we're back home again. So, so just stay tuned for that. I will please know that I do appreciate every one of you for joining, whether you're live or whether you're watching replay or watching recording like this one. So please comment. Please let me know where you're watching from, what you've been doing craft-wise and otherwise. I'm a, our community is great and I love hearing what everybody's doing. So as usual, I'm going to go through my, my spiel about what classes I have, and hopefully you'll join me on some of them. So first of all, we have Christmas cards we do once a month, and hopefully we'll be ready for Christmas. So we do them on the second Thursday of every month, and all of these classes are by Zoom. And if you live in Canada, I can get kits to you, and you can join us. You just need some time, so be sure and register early enough that I can get them to you. The third Wednesday of every month, we do have a monthly card class. And same thing there, anyone in Canada is welcome to join that. I do the card kits and get them ready for you and to you in time that you can create with me. And we just have a good time. And as always, our Friday with friends class at one o'clock. This is on Zoom. You use your own products for this one. And we have different teachers share whatever they have found that's interesting and they want to make and they teach us how to make it so it's a great time we have lots and lots of laughs and and just good friendship happening everywhere there so that one i do not let, um, share the zoom link publicly but i will send it out in an email so if you're interested just let me know and i can add you to my list so having said all of that i will now move on to my desktop and I'm going to show you the card I'm making tonight is watercoloring with your clear blocks. So I've got a few things set up and let's give it a try. So here we are at my desktop and I have a card base in the new Starry Sky cardstock and it's our regular eight and a half by five and a half. So I'm just going to fold it. And then I'm going to use my, I've got some shimmer white. You know what I didn't, don't remember what I measured that at. It's four and a half by three and a quarter. And all I did, what I want to do is use this stamp set. So I just took this stamp and figured, oh yeah, I think it'll work there. And then I've got the words from... A different stamp set. I don't have it right here in front of me right now. Um, for a happy birthday that I'm going to put on there. So to do the water coloring with your blocks, I've got a block that, because I want to color it all over, I've got a block that pretty well fits. And all I'm going to do is take my ink pad and ink my block. And don't really want that line across there but oh and before I do that what I should be doing is I'm going to use my spritzer and wet the paper and I'll do that <clears throat> a little bit away because I don't want ooh, that's lots of water but just so that the ink will definitely disperse on there and then I'm using I used pool party on that top part and I'm going to use soft sea foam here, and I don't care if it overlaps a little bit. But just so I've got two different colors. And then you could spritz on here or on your paper like I did. And I'm just going to stamp my background. Just leave it there for a bit. I'm going to close these up. And then I'm going to use the darker color, the Starry Sky, to add my image. 
which I've got set up on the Stamparatus, because I have the feeling that I might have to stamp it more than once. And the other thing that I need, obviously, is a paper towel. And I can't really stamp over top of that when it's wet. So one of the things you can do is use your heat tool, which I can reach, hopefully, not knock everything down. And I will try heating that just a bit too, so it doesn't get... And we'll take the ink from when I want to stamp it with the, the darker stamp. Ideally, I should have done this prior and had it air dry with probably with something laying on it so it doesn't curl up quite so bad. But you know how things go when you're getting ready for holidays. You just don't think that far ahead. So, so I'll leave that like such. Now... I will bring in the Stamparatus. Like I say, I have it, I have my marks on here where I usually, I want that way or if I want that way. No, I think probably this way. So I'm going to, because it's curled, I am going to use both magnets and always remember to keep your magnets apart so they don't snap together and break. And I have my image on here, and I want to stamp it like that. And then I have my happy birthday that I'm going to, hopefully it'll fit. I've got it there. So this is my main one, though. And I'm going to ink it up, like I say, with Starry Sky. I have a punch here that I'm going to use afterwards. So I'll just leave it under there to kind of help me. And we'll see how this works. So this is a celebration set. The, ooh, turned out nice. Like it, like it. Don't think I need a second stamping of that. But I will remove that. And now this one same idea. I'm going to just put my happy birthday right there. And I think I need another layer of something behind there. Probably one of the, the greens. And of course I don't have that out here. I am going to, this is called creating on the fly for sure. I'm going to trim that off because I don't like the fact that I didn't get it colored all the way there. So that's better. And then I think what I will do, I don't have any other paper out here that is that other than, you know what, I do have. piece of regular white. Let's do that. So I am at three and a quarter, so I want three and a half. And this will give you an idea of how you don't have to be exact on everything you're you're doing, right? So that one's four and a quarter, so I will do that one at four and a half. And then we'll see. It's always nice to have a big table there beside you where you can put everything. I think what I will do, yes, much, much better that way. However, I was going to use this new punch on here 
right, so three bunches different um, designs in each side. And this is part of a bundle that comes with a stamp set that is all words in the mini catalog. And well, that still looks OK. You know what? Let's really live dangerously and see what happens if I punch. Well, that's even better. It, when you use a punch like this, most of our other punches we turn over to punch. But when you're using one like this with the flat base, you don't want to, you want to have it um, on a flat surface and just push straight down like that. So I'm going to use my liquid glue on this piece and then I will use dimensions on the other one. And I'm going to line that up. We'll also do this and leave it for just a, a titch, as we call it. Then I'm going to use dimensions, dimensionals, not dimensions dimensionals to give it dimension and pop it up and then we will put a a white on the inside and we have the envelope that will be whoa careful so again I'm just going to oh I like that I could uh, and probably will do some some kind of embellishment but first of all I have to Bring back the stamp apparatus with my flower because for the inside I want hmm, how am I gonna do this? I don't want it right in the center like it was. I want it. Just to see how you can maneuver, even though you're using it on here. I want it just down here, about like, like so. So by just placing your plate in a different spot, you can add. No, oh, not interesting again missed inking that one corner so that will be my inside piece and for my envelope <laughs> same idea only I want it on the other side how am I going to do that can I get it nope can't do that I guess maybe it'll have to go on the back Whoa, let me do that. Let me just do a spot like that at the back. So it's all a complete set of a card and an envelope. And again, showing you that the Stamparatus if you don't have blocks that size or whatever, you can certainly use the Stamparatus to complete your, your design. And I'm thinking some of our new embellishment we have got. Actually, I just got, and I will, I think I showed them to you last week, is the Heart Pearls. And because they're very handy here, I'm going to add just a couple of them using my Take Your Pick tool. And we always work in threes. 
So I'm going to add and try to keep them in kind of a, a triangle shaping. Oh, I like how that just added what we needed to there, didn't it? So like I say, please leave us leave me comments um, what you like, what other suggestions as to what could be done with something like this. And please give it a try. Use your blocks with your ink pads like that. You can also use just you stamp ink on your block with the pad and then use your water painter to pick up that ink and color. I just find this a little bit faster as to how to do it. And leave me comments and I will certainly read them as soon as I can and get back to you. And hopefully you've enjoyed that and will craft along with me.